Hello guys, welcome back to my Jack 2 Renegade Let's Play. In the last episode, we just finished off getting the banner from Dead Town, which we did for Taunt, and in this episode, we are going to complete more missions for Taunt. Starting with this one, which involves going to the pumping station. Hope you enjoy this cutscene. Woo! Being a big hero sure makes you thirsty. <laughs> The Baron turned off all water to the slums. He's willing to sacrifice innocent lives just to destroy the underground. I shouldn't be surprised. I've seen his evil before while serving in the Crimson Guard. That's why I quit. You were a Crimson Guard? <laughs> well, that explains your charming sense of humor. My friend in the Guard tells me the valve to turn the water back on is located outside the city, at the pumping station. Outside the city? What about the security walls? What about the metalheads? It ain't a petting zoo out there. Peeps be getting deep sexed. Find the large drain pipe in the north wall. It'll take you outside the city to the pumping station. Get to the main valve and open it. If you survive, the slums will be indebted to you. If not, maybe we'll have a touching moment of silence in your honor. I'd like to give him a touching moment. Okay, so now what we need to do in this mission is we need to head to a new area in the game which is called the Pumping Station. And yeah, it's actually a pretty... I actually really like that area. I really like the soundtrack that plays through that area. If we head there now... Let's hijack this Crimson Guard crate. I think we crate again. It's a vehicle and then we get with the Crimson Guard guards on our ass again, which, is, which I find really funny. Think the Crimson Guard... Um, Zuma has like a little gun on it as well, which you can use to fire with the cards or whatever, fire whatever you want. It's much better than an ordinary Zuma, but just make, but when you get over it, just make sure that you have won the Crimson Cards, because they really go after you when you buy Jack one of their vehicles. Hey, oh, Jack, we can make it. We've got to go to the pony stage. My vehicle's down literally on fire, meaning it does not much more damage now. My vehicle literally Right, it's going slow, right. Stop the vehicle! Let's keep going. I have to get on a different vehicle then just because, well, my vehicle was on fire and it was actually, it was actually slowing down my vehicle. If my vehicle took any more damage than it would have exploded and I would have lost some health. If we head here, this is the entrance of the pumping station. Blow up the zoomer. Let's head in here. I actually really like, I like this area as well. It's probably my favourite area outside Haven City. Okay, let's do it. Okay, here we have it's a dark eco. Um, these are the new enemies in the game, which are the male heads. They basically replace the lurkers, and they're definitely much more deadly than the lurkers as well. They're definitely much more of a threat. There are different types of male heads throughout the game as well. Some are more dangerous than others. Some take more damage as well. Some of them are really difficult to take out, and some of them you actually have to have a weapon to take it to take them out. And you'll see me obtain some or weapons, some guns later on in this game. There should be another precursor up here. Yeah, I think I know where most of the hidden precursors are. Maybe if not all of them, so I'll de we'll definitely collect them all as where we find them. By the way, I'm not planning to collect every single precursor in the game. Some precursor orbs you have to collect by completing side missions and stuff like that. So. I'm not going to bother doing the side missions in this let's play. If I'm being honest, I've never, I haven't actually got the platinum trophy in Jack 2 because I've not managed to obtain every single precursor orb hidden in the game. I know there are about 286 precursor orbs hidden throughout the game. I've only found about 100 and something. I'm not sure exactly how many, but it's definitely not 286. I think I found most of the hidden ones, though, if not all of them. So I'll def we'll definitely pick them up if we ever find them. So. We'll pick them up as we go along throughout the Let's Play, so I'll show you where the, most of the hidden ones are, if not all of them, so... If we head... Oh. Oops. Melheads also drop things called, like, Skull Gems, which Jack can use. If he takes two... Jack can take these Skull Gems to a someone called Oracle. It's little st Remember the Oracle in the first game? He makes a return in this game and... In Jack 2, if you give him enough um, Melhead Skull Gems, he can actually give Jack more Dark Jack powers or something. They really are epic to use. I mean, I love using them. I didn't need to pick that health pip up, but I will. 
health packs this game are called health pips from what I heard from another youtuber they're not called health packs they're called health pips I think oh we can now activate dark jack we won't do that just yet we'll do that in a minute when we head here they are bugger it I'm gonna do it now Ooh, literally obliterating all my enemies. I love turning into Dark Jack as well. The power up Jack gets later on is so fun to use. I'm not kidding. Take this guy out. I love using Dark Jack in this game. That's what I love about Jack too. If Jack gets really pissed off by characters, he can turn to Dark Jack. But the way to turn to Dark Jack in this game, Jack has to collect enough Dark Eco from enemies. When you defeat an enemy, they will drop Dark Eco. Yeah, and you can pick up Dark Eco from then. Of course, when the Dark Eco meter fills up, Jack can use his Dark Jack abilities. Anyway, here we have a cutscene. Ah, the valve. Allow me. Don't say it. Don't even chuckle. Next time, you turn the valve. It'll be definitely wise if Jack turns the valve next time, <laughs> to consider what happened then. Yeah, I love the humor this game has as well. This game definitely has better humor than the first game. The first game did have some funny moments, but this game in particular really does have some funny moments. Complete. I mean, the humor in Jack and Dax is definitely great. I mean, Sly Cooper, Ratchet and Clank all have great humor as well. And this, I love the humor in all those games. Yeah, what I love about Jack, the best thing, why did I even do that, right? I didn't actually mean to do that, but I don't know why I decided to take that Crimson Guard out, but oh well. It's just fun getting the Crimson Guards on my ass, so. If we head just here quick, I'll show you where the Oracle is. It's just here. And, I'll and then we, should, we will have a cutscene when we go in here. I'll show you, I'll show you the cutscene. Greetings, great warrior. I sense there is a dark rage burning within you. And in time, it will destroy you with its madness. Only the last power of the precursors can save you. Destroy my enemies. Those creatures you call the Metalheads. Bring me 25 of their skull gems and I will teach you how to control these powers. So basically what I need to do is you need to collect a certain amount of Metalhead skull gems which I explained during the comic station then just give them to him. When you've got enough um, Metalhead Skull Gems, they'll give Jack Dark Jacks more Dark Jack powers. They're actually really fun to use. When you have enough Metalhead Skull Gems, the Oracle no! icon will appear back on the map. And then that'll tell you when you have enough Metalhead Skull Gems. And that will tell you that he can finally get you a new power up. Um, which vehicle should we hijack? Out of the way, go. We'll take this one. Head to this Zuma. Okay, if we head back to towards Hideout now, oh, where he's got another mission for us. My vehicle's already taken damage. The second I get on it, um, okay. Towards Hideout, we're just around here. We'll head there and head there and see what. Mi the next mission, by the way, is really fun. It involves you outrun. It involves you going back into the fortress and outrunning a tank. So, yeah, I really do like this mission. Yeah, we're gonna do that now when we get back to Torn's place. You see those pan- right, okay. oh shit. I really do not like the Crimson Guard. You see those panels there? Eventually in the game you can- oh crap. You can activate these, them, and they'll give you extra side missions too, which involve finding hidden precursor orbs throughout the Haven City, or if I'll be completing a race, or- oh shit. Torn's place is just around here, so I'll head there quick. Ooh. So the side mission is basically like ring challenges where Jack has to race through rings in a certain period of time as well as race other people around Haven City and collect hidden. The slum's water is back on. 
I'd love to see the heads roll when the Baron finds out. Yeah, I'm sure he's losing lots of sleep over this armpit of the city. We've done what you've asked. Now when do we see the shadow? When I say so, if I say so. But before I even think about it, I want you to take care of an ammo dump we've ID'd in the fortress. Lots of Crimson Guards, constant patrols. We know it's vulnerable, and the Underground needs you to blow up all the ammo you find inside. Get all of it, and we'll deal a body blow to the Baron. You're sending us in, tough guy! So what's with this, we'll deal a body blow stuff? That's fine. I want the Baron to know that it's me who's hurting him. Damn, Jack does not like the Baron, does he? Yeah, Jack's personality in this game has really changed. I mean, if you can tell then, Jack is definitely a more turned to more of a renegade character, as you can tell from the game title. You can just tell, he actually, t Jack can talk now and he just... When he speaks, he sounds really like he's, he does not take shit from anyone. I mean, seriously. He's got a very dark voice, but he's got a really epic voice actor as well. I think the voice actor's name was Michael Irwin, I think. And he's actually did a good job of... Um, being the voice actor for Jack because he gave Jack a really dark voice. It really suits Jack's personality as well as and his character as well. So that's the tank we're going to be outrunning in a minute if we just head through here. Unauthorized use of fortress door. Activating security. Now this tank will really catch you off guard, so you need to the what you have to be really careful with it. I definitely not when I first played this level mission, I used to die quite a few times playing it, and the tank will really catch you off guard. Ooh, Luckily I've completed this mission loads of times and I finally got used to it. Oh shit. See, just like that, he... He managed to catch him off guard. Ooh. Oh, oh. Come on, Jack. Oh, we made it. Yay. The tank is still following us. Why can't he leave us alone? I will admit, Jack 2 is not the most difficult game I've played. The most difficult game I've got to play is probably the first Rayman on the PS1. I mean, oh my god, that game was difficult. The game starts off pretty easy when you're in the Dream Forest, but by the time you get to Banland and Picture City, that game really gets difficult. If you've played the first Rayman on PS1, you'll probably know how difficult it is. I mean, Rayman 2 is really easy, but Rayman 1 is really... I've still not beaten Rayman 1 to this day. That just showed, that, I'll just tell you how difficult that game is. Here we have two crimson guards. Okay, we should make our way around here. Oh shit, come on, make it, make it. Come on. Okay, we should be... We should head over here. Come on. Yeah, we're infiltrating the crimson guard fortress again. We need to blow up some ammo dump, which we'll see in a minute. We'll, see in a minute. well we're probably thinking, how is Jack going to blow all that shit up when he's got no weapons? We'll see how in a minute. We head round here, jump down here, boom. Head up here now and we'll see where all the ammo dump is and all that shit. We'll just head up here. Ah, here it is, just through this door and we'll see a tank and the ammo dump. Cool, that's a security pass. We need those to get through city checkpoints. Metalheads in the city? Why are the guards giving them eco? Oh shit, another tank. So what we need to law basically what we need to do is just get the tank to blow up these ammo dump stuff. Basically lure the tank. Stand in front of the ammo dump when the tank's about to shoot you, then the second you shoot, just jump in the air. Just walk around, or walk around the ammo dump and eventually he'll shoot them, like he is now. Alert. Backup cooling system failure. Emergency overrides initiated. Just walk casually and he'll eventually blow it up. Missile systems at critical he's still overload. aiming for you while you're behind this ammo dump thing. Come on. Yes! <laughs> Danger. Let's get out of here. Detonation imminent. Evacuate immediately. Let's get out of here.
This place has too much excitement. We need to move back to the country. That's a tank mission complete. Probably one of my favourite missions in the game. Okay, don't attack that Crimson Guard. I'm not going to attack him this time. Actually, I'm going to hijack this vehicle. Now, this is the Crimson Guard cruiser, which is really difficult to try. This has the acceleration of, well, has the handling of a bus. I mean, I'm not kidding. This vehicle is really difficult to control. But of course, when you hijack this vehicle, the city goes under your ass. So. Okay, let's so we'll go before I get shot. If you don't piss off the groups of guards name city, they won't come after you, so just don't piss them off like I do. Piss them off and have a go if you want, but it'd be much easier if you don't piss them off. Okay, here we have another cutscene. The demolition duo has returned! One barbecued ammo dump served up hot! We saw something odd while torching that ammo. The Baron's guards were giving barrels filled with eco to a group of metalheads. Really? The Shadow will be very interested to hear that. You know, so far, your gigs have been easier than stealing grass from a sleeping yakko. <laughs> you and the rodent want to start proving yourselves? One of our suppliers needs his payment delivered. A bag of eco ore. Take the Zoomer parked out back and drive it to the Hip Hog Heaven Saloon in Southtown. Ask for crew. He'll be there. And don't let the Baron's patrols stop you. By the way, when you get there, pump crew for information. He's wired into the city and may know what the Baron is up to. You can count on us. Are you still here? Okay, let's go. In this mission, you will, we will get the Crimson Guards after us. And this mission is actually pretty fun, racing through Haven City and trying to outrun the Crimson Guards while we deliver this package to crew, which is another character in the game. And, we'll, and you'll meet him after when we complete this mission. If we just head around here, we'll... We'll see some Crimson Guards in a minute, but just, they're trying to find us. They'll, they'll come after us because they'll see the package and they think there's something suspicious in it, and that's why they come after us, as you'll see in just a second. Right, here we go. Crap, oh. Of course, they're looking off certain parts of the road and stuff like that, so just... When they have a roadblock, just race your zoomer along the ground, and you can easily just outrun them like that. And some of them will come after you as well, so make sure you outrun them. What's quite interesting, some Crimson Guards actually try to suicide bomb you, and what is, when when you see Crimson Guards on like the zoom on the zoomers, they will try and slam straight into you and like suicide. Just to stop you. And that just shows how like how dedicated the Crimson Guards are in stopping Jack. We have this is pretty the new area here which is called South Town or South Town. I can't, there's another name for this place, but I can't remember what it was called. The port, that's it. This area is also called the port as well. And this is quite open world, this area as well. It's really open as well. I actually like it. And here we have Crew's Bar. This is where Crew hangs out. We finally delivered the package. Whoa, holy shit. Just made it. Let me handle this, Jack. Watch my finesse and style. Don't forget to ask Everything's me. cool. Nobody panic. Hey, big guy. Your crew? Well, we shook the heat, and your shipment's in primo condition. That's good, eh? Because a cargo of rare eco ore is worth more than ten of your lives. And of course, I'd be forced to collect... slowly. <laughs> the underground will take anyone with a pulse these days. And what we have here, the Shadow's mascot of the month, Ooh, soft. Zig, this fur would go well with my silk suit, eh? Listen, uh, tons of fun. Anyone can see that you uh, and I have the real juice in this bird. We're both players, right? We're both looking for a piece of the action, right? I think we can do business, right? We did you a favor. Now it's your turn. Why is the Baron giving eco to metalheads? Questions like that could get a person killed, eh? Zig! Peel Capitan here and his friend, Bonus. If you want to see what that baby can do, try the gun course outside. Show me some skill with that hardware, and I'll hire you for a job or two, eh? Okay, that's Crow. He's a really big guy, by the way. I don't know how he fits through these doors to get in here. Look. You can see he's definitely a lot fatter than the door. 
Now we have Sig as well, he's a badass as well. Can we head out here? We've now got our first weapon of the game, which is a scout gun, which is basically a shotgun like kind of weapon, as I'll demonstrate here. It's close range and it's a pretty awesome weapon to use. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for. I think I'm going to end this episode off here. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. In the next episode, we're going to go complete the test course with a scout gun and we're going to go do some metalhead hunting. And I'll see you guys then, hopefully. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, as always. This is Gold Yax and I'm out.